Hello everybody. This week's camera is a 1966 aluminum bodied uh, rangefinder from Japan. It's the Petri Racer. It has a coupled CDS meter. Uh, it's inside the, the filter ring, so that's nice. It has what Petri called the green omatic rangefinder. Gives a little better contrast in the viewfinder. Has a 45 millimeter f2.8 lens. Apparently there was a, an f1.8 version made, but they're really rare, and if you can find them, they're really expensive. Uh, the shutter uh, goes from one second to one five hundredth of a second, plus bulb mode. The aperture is uh, f2.8 to f16. Uh, there's no click stops on the aperture ring. You can do it however you want, but it was sort of designed to set the film speed, set the shutter speed, and then use the uh, aperture dial to fine tune the, the match uh, meter needle in the viewfinder. Almost everything is on the barrel. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, it's got a self timer on the barrel. The flash sink is on the barrel. You set your ISO on the barrel. The shutter speed, the aperture speed. It's got a really nice, smooth focusing lever here attached to the focus ring. That leaves the front, uh, the top plate really, really clean. It's got the film counter, a reminder for how to use the meter. Got a cold shoe. The flash sink is on the barrel. And then the film rewind. A lot of these you'll see, people uh, let them go for cheap because they can't figure out how to open them. You don't pull up the film rewind. It's got a little lever on the side. It's covered by the case right now. The shutter button is also, it's on the front. And the rewind lever sits nice and flush against the back. When you cock it, that arms the meter. So that took a little getting used to for me because I'm used to just cocking it to have the camera ready to go. Once you take the shot, the meter turns off and it's not draining the battery. I'll shoot another roll through it and I'll let you know how it goes. And I'll see you then.